Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to another Planet Zoo update video. We have a new screenshot from Frontier today. Uh, today it's all about staff paths, but as always, there's lots of different things we can dive into and take a look at here. Uh, so yes, yeah, they've talked in here about the uh, staff only pathways that we're getting to Planet Zoo, a new feature that did not feature in Planet Coaster or uh, Jurassic World Evolution. In fact, are there really staff in Jurassic World Evolution? There's people in the Jeeps, that's about it, right? Uh, but yeah, this is something that a lot of people like in Planet Coaster, but um, yeah, we are now getting it in Planet Zoo. Basically, a certain path that you can click down that only staff can walk on. Uh, this comes as part of a, a larger mechanic uh, that means the guests don't want to be anywhere near the uh, staff buildings. They say that they don't want to be anywhere near them, as opposed to not wanting to be able to see them, uh, because it has been confirmed by Bo this week on the forums that the staff buildings will have an aura, so to speak, sort of area of influence around them, uh, that if guests walk into, they will, uh, they'll they'll feel a little bit annoyed that they can see the buildings. Uh, I feel a few different ways about this. One, I think it's a great mechanic to have the, uh, the staff buildings sort of ugly, as far as guests are concerned. Uh, it's something that I think Parkitect does incredibly well. Um, Parkitect being a sort of spiritual successor to Rollercoaster Tycoon 1 and 2 uh, and they there you have um, an actual line of sight bit of programming work so that if the guests see the buildings they're not happy about it but you can cover them up with your own walls and stuff and really that's the ideal kind of way to do it um, I can only imagine that because of how the guests work in this and how the paths work in this that that will be massive amounts of processing to be able to do obviously Parkitect is working on a grid uh, with a much uh, more simplified version of the simulation as far as the guests are concerned so that kind of works for that uh, but here yeah it's not a great idea that I think that they have to be away from them physically because I think that, that's going to limit you in how you build your things um, and also I think it pl applies better to something like a theme park um, I actually think zoos to be honest people are quite happy to see how they're run and how they're put together and people like to be able to sort of uh, sort of poke their heads around the corner and see what's going on. I, I can think of quite a few different exhibits I've seen over the over the years where uh, the actual backstage, so to speak, is actually quite front and centre and you can see them preparing food and, and looking after and there's off, they often, zoos often make a bit of a thing about showing you where animals are, are looked after and cared for and where the vets are, things like that. So uh, we'll see. Hopefully maybe in Sandbox there's an option to turn it off. Uh, but you know that's something we're going to have to see how it works out. It's nice that they're trying to do this sort of thing but um, we'll, uh, we'll only know uh, when the game uh, is launched really as to uh, how it really sort of plays out uh, but like I said I'm diverging a little bit there that that's sort of part of what this uh, staff path goes on to do you can see there there's a sign above the path saying staff only a few people pointed out oh that's on the wrong side I think that's kind of just to prove for the screenshot um, a couple of people pointed out that it isn't in Planco either that to me looks uh, like an editable sign similar to what we get in Planet Coaster you can click on that sign and change the text to anything you want I don't think the sign actually has anything to do with the fact that staff can walk in and out I think that's purely aesthetic there I think the path uh, itself will be what makes uh, makes it possible uh, a few people said we'd be able to put doors on it I imagine not but obviously you can place scenery doors down anywhere you like if it's anything like Planet Coaster most of the scenery items 99.9% .9 of them don't have collision with the guests so you'll be able to place them down and you know staff will clip through them but uh, that's one of those things that you kind of have to decide whether or not you're happy with or not i personally am fine with that kind of thing some people won't be you know that's a personal preference uh, so moving away from the path then let's have a look we've got some uh, african wild dogs here uh, looking pretty good i think this is the first time we've seen a water feature put down for them to drink from uh, i'm pretty sure we haven't seen one of them before we've seen the food dishes but we haven't seen the water feature interesting this seems like it has some sort of pipe work coming from it whether or not that's coming from the pillar there maybe these have to be connected to a fence uh, or it might just be for show or you know we really don't know yet It'd be interesting i kind of like the idea of them having to be connected to a wall because that would you know mean that piping was a bit of a thing that we have to think about which is quite a good idea i think um so we'll see whether or not that carries over into the actual game as or whether it is purely for scenic uh, reasons uh, you can also see a really good example of the two types of fencing i believe we're going to get in the game now not that these are the only fences but let me point that out but there's two two types of fences as far as they work uh, mechanic wise i think the first one here that they're actually enclosing the, the, the not the hyena sorry the, the painted dogs 
Uh, I think that's going to be a spline based system similar to the fencing in Jurassic World Evolution um, just how it how it looks how it molds how it curves around like that I'm pretty sure that's exactly what that is it's going to be a spline based system you place down points and the fence clears itself in between um, and that's going to act as more sort of full barriers as far as animals are concerned and then we have this other fence here that's currently sitting around the staff path I'm pretty sure those are individual pieces that have been placed down individually to create the look of a fence uh, which more uh, akin to how you would do it in Planet Coaster. If you look, there's actually a repeating pattern of seven poles or sticks, whatever you want to call them there. Uh, if you just look closely, you can see that this, the, um, there's, a, there's a slightly fatter one there that sort of repeats every seventh. So I'm pretty sure that's uh, seven of those is together in one piece and that class is as a fence piece and you can click those across there and uh, they're purely used uh, as a scenic, um, scenic piece is what I think we're looking at there. Uh, great to see some flowers in the game here. We didn't have a great selection of flowers when Planet Coaster launched. We got loads more with, I think it was Vintage Pack. I can't remember. One of the packs gave us loads more flower beds and stuff, which was really good, but it's nice to see some of them uh, here in the base game. Uh, again, loads of other scenery pieces. I can't wait to get, get my hands on these sort of African uh, tribal uh, style ba ba barriers here across the, what would you call those? What would you call these? Canopies? Canopies is the word I'm looking for. Uh, and then there's some awesome pillars here, little hut on the right. Uh, the really interesting one here, I think, is this Jeep down the bottom corner uh, for a few reasons. One, this isn't the Jeep that comes with the Jeep ride. It looks completely different. There's no canopy over the top of it. Uh, it's also a different color, although don't take different colors being different objects because most of the, color pe most of the pieces will be flexi color where you can change the color to whatever you like if it's anything like Planet Coaster. Um, but then there's a few other reasons that it looks interesting one it seems very squished uh, the post there sitting behind it makes it look quite um, sort of smushed up for some reason and also where the placement of it is the fact that it's behind a fence the fact that it's on a staff path really interesting I don't think this is going to be drivable by staff uh, if it is I'll be really impressed that's definitely a feature they've kept under wraps personally I feel that this is going to be a scenery piece um, which kind of suggested is looking at that post looking at that other tent next to it I think we're looking at a scenery item here that you could just place down and add a little bit of ambience to the area uh, using these sort of things um, I would look uh, at something like the adventure pack for Planet Coaster came with jeeps and cars and that kind of thing as well and that's what I personally think we're looking at here uh, but overall, some really interesting points here to take away from it. The different types of fencing, the water from the uh, the painted dogs there that they're having a little munch on, and obviously the staff pathing and what that means for layout of, uh, of things like that. The only other thing I wanted to mention here is a bit of a sort of retcon from something I mentioned in the last episode, something that's been cleared up uh, since, uh, since I recorded a, a previous Planet Zoo video. I said in there that uh, there was going to be uh, 50 animal, at least 50 animals in the launch game, um, but the the, uh, the exhibit animals, which is things such as the snake and the iguana that we've seen so far, do not count towards that uh, that 50. Um, Bo has since said that that is incorrect. Uh, they haven't announced officially how many animals are going to be in the base game, uh, but they are they're, they're now saying that those those. Um, exhibit animals are a part of the the whole number that will be released um she did say that that when she said uh, something in a chat it was taken a little bit out of context i personally don't think it was taken out of context i think it was just a little bit of a, a mishap but either way however many we get which they have said is going to be more than 50 uh, it is just a single number that includes exhibit animals and regular animals for want of a better word i suppose so just wanted to clear that up um you know because it was something i mentioned in the last one i hate giving you guys uh, incorrect correct information so uh, but other than that I think it's a great screenshot this one makes me really excited I just I, I want to play the game now I'm really annoyed I'm not able to get to Gamescom which is where they're going to have playable demos of it unfortunately um, uh, Canada to Berlin is a bit of a stretch right now um, so I'm not going to be able to get there but obviously any footage they put up online I'm going to be ripping it to shreds like I normally do so uh, so keep it here on Geekism for that thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed it if you have been give us a like it really does help and if you're not already don't forget to subscribe thank Thank you to our patrons for their incredible support uh, for, for more information on how you can support the channel you can check out patreon.com geekism thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next one